I'm Luke Pearson, I'm a director at Pearson Lloyd and we're working on the commode and the patient chair. Traditionally commodes in, in, in the healthcare sector are, have to perform on multiple levels and, and what, historically that's led to them becoming quite complex products. They're almost like wheelchairs and toilets combined and so our big goal in the project has been to reduce the number of parts in the product and to facilitate the cleaning process through that. Uh, we were very lucky to hook up with uh, Brunel University and also the microbiology department at uh, Anglia Ruskin. So we're getting some very high level technical input, uh, both in sort of consumer patterns from Brunel and also the design bugs out, the actual, um, that element through Anglia Ruskin. The ergonomics and comfort aspect came through really strong from the user research. The first thing you've got to do is try and minimise the ability for germs to collect on the product. And then you've got to maximise the ability for it, them to be removed. Um, so, uh, in principle, that means as few parts as possible and parts that can be cleaned as easily as possible. From early research, we went, then went into one-to-one -one, uh, prototyping because obviously furniture is very much a one-to-one -one process. That then slowly runs into CAD uh, computer-aided design and engineering and that rolls then back into how we're going to make this thing. Well, the commode is a portable product that's used either at bedside or as a means of taking patients from their bed to the toilet and back again. It's trying to do lots of things well within one object because it acts both as a portering chair to a toilet and also has to be used at the bedside by a patient. So we're having to tackle multiple functions and multiple scenarios within one product. We've reduced the frame down to the absolute minimum number of parts and there are virtually no edges or seams or junctions where these bugs can actually hide. The other major feature is that the um, seat pan that you sit on or the seat and back that you sit on has virtually no joins, seams or junctions on it. So the cleanability of that is, is increased massively. The primary plastic shell on the commode is, is a high gloss and whenever we can we're using high gloss surfaces to do that um, so that the cleaning process is facilitated. Obviously that has to be balanced against function so when there's footrest and grips you, you need to have a certain amount of texture so that people don't just slip off. The main structure of the, of the commode is in stainless steel and again that's both a durability and a strength and a cleaning part of the project. The patient chair is, um, is the chair that sits by a patient's bed. So it's the, it's, the, it's the product that they sit in when they're beginning to the recovery process and when they're getting out of their bed. Effectively, we have a mono shell with no seams on it. Into that, we're then placing foam cushions, which are covered in a polyurethane skin, which then has a taped join all the way around it. Now that allows these particular units to be cleaned very well with that, with, and know that we're not going to get any moisture inside them. We're using the function and the cleaning process of a bed to deliver those pads. In other words, the cushions are, are uh, use loose pillowcases effectively that are sent away and laundered in the same way as, as bed clothing is. That means that when a patient arrives in their space for the first time, not only is the bed freshly made up, but the chair is also freshly made up. The choice of materials for the patient chair uh, primarily is to do with durability and longevity. In terms of the primary structures, we're using stainless steel, we're using moulded plastics, and we're using aluminium. I think the primary hope is that they'll in improve the situation in terms of healthcare and you know, keeping these bugs at bay. You want it to become the norm, the standard for commodes, you want it to become the standard for bedside chairs, um, you know, for at least a generation. I'd like to see the bedside chair by every bed in hospitals and, and the commodes being the standard ward commode. And I think it's a project that, as a, as a complete process, has, has a huge potential impact in improving hospital environments.